Let's take a look at the new Metos Evo pixels and do some comparisons to the standard bullet pixels we have been using for years. Starting with the weight difference using 50 count strands, we have ounces on the left and grams on the right. Evos come in at 4.8 ounces or 132 grams and bullets at 13 ounces or 366 grams. This works out to the Evos being just over 60% lighter. This becomes a big difference on the HD props that are continuing to be more common in our hobby. For example, on the EFL globe, there's 750 pixels, so this means going from 12 pounds to 4.5 pounds. Next, let's take a look at the wiring. On the top we have the Evo, and on the bottom bullets. The wire is significantly smaller, as has been well shown and discussed previously. The idea is the Evos have a lower amperage draw, so don't need the same wire thickness, but we'll look at that later. Checking the wire length between pixels, Matos lists 4 inches on his site, but it seems that measurement is center to center and not total wire, which is closer to three and a half inches. I also mistakenly got a strand of their mega tree strands, which is listed at two and a quarter inches, which is the full wire length, so the measurements are not done in the same way. Some props have larger jumps, and three and a half inches will not make it from one pixel to the other, and we have seen that be an issue when buying some random brand pixels. Also, all these came from the first batch of Evos as I ordered on the release day, but still I received two different types of wire. They didn't perform any different in the testing. Taking a look how Evos fit in some props. Starting with the EFL globe, the Evos fit right in as the Coro holes have the two nubs, then a twist to lock them in. I pulled on the wires a bit to twist and through 750 never had an issue. Another EFL prop, the NSR pull, the Evos almost snapped in past the nubs, so didn't need the twist to lock them in. The next prop I had was from Charlie's. His props use X-flute and the holes don't have the nubs, so it would not go in easily. With the right effort, it might be possible, but not something I would do on this 1600 pixel prop. Then was a prop from Custom Christmas Creations. As his Coro is H-flute, there is enough flex to push the Evos in, and just a little wiggle to make sure they are seated right. Testing next with Mega Tree Strips, the Evos have a slight taper on the outside so they friction fit in nicely. Then also testing with my own 3D printed props. They do go in but are very loose so it would pop out easily and I would not recommend it. One of the concerns, because Evos sit inside the Coro and let out light in all directions, is that it bleeds into white Coro. Here is matching props running at 20% brightness with Evos on the left and bullets on the right from 10 feet in the video on the left side of the screen and 20 feet in the video on the right. As you get farther away, the bleed is less noticeable as the bullets also reflect off white coral. But up close, bullets have an evenly dispersed effect versus the Evos that have more of a hot spot running between the flutes. Last, we can do a comparison of the voltage drop and amperage draw on a mix of pixel counts, brightness, and using white versus a single color. To do this, I built some voltmeter ammeter boxes to help in measuring. In each test, the Evos are on the left and bullets on the right. Top meter is input and bottom meter is output. As the count continues to go up, there are more issues with voltage drop with the Evos where, when set to white, the end of the strands were turning purple and the voltage drop worsens due to the small wiring. Across the 60 tests I did here, the Evos suffered more voltage drop 34 times, and only in the 100 count test did they generally perform better. To add to the test, I used the middle ground of 300 pixels and added power injection at the end of the strand. This eliminated all the voltage issues, and the Evos consistently used less amps across the tests. In practice, I've used 312 volt pixels off of one port with no power injection as a good guideline in my show. 
However, when I did the side-by-side -side pixel fold test, I ran into an issue at 100% brightness, where by the end of the strand, when the effect was supposed to be white, the voltage drop on EVOs would cause the pixels to go out completely. EVOs for sure have some benefits with regards to storage and the weight, but if you plan to use them in a show, make sure to take into consideration both the pros and the cons so they don't have a negative impact on your overall show.